welcome. We are here to talk with uh, Piyush Gupta, CEO of uh, Bosmos. Hello, Piyush. Welcome to the show. Hi, hi, Shruti. Thank you for How having you me. Doing? doing very good. Uh, you know, between the virtual and the real world, uh, trying to make a bridge out of it for everyone. So, doing very exciting times for us. Exciting times for everybody. Given the scene that there's Lok Sabha election going on, there are you know central banks dealing with inflation. There's tech revolution happening. Of course, interesting times. Um, let's talk about your company, Boss Boss. Oh, uh, absolutely. A uh, lot of exciting times which is happening through elections and everything, including Ayodhya, which 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 is played a bigger role. And there is a lot of digitization happening in that space also. I'll cover that when we speak more. So, Boss has been in this space for about five years now. It's part of a larger group, uh, you know, and hence a list part of a, a startup under a listed firm is how I'll put it across. We focus on the immersive tech with a vision to give every business a virtual address. So the reason sure. we are saying every business a virtual address is we kind of trying to keep it simple for general people to adapt technology. So it's about, you know, if you are in the 2D world, which is what most of us are right now, right. as an organization, you're focusing on, can we take you from a 2D world to a 3D world and then move on to, you know, the AR, the VR and so and so forth. So it's kind of taking, you know, changing the consumer behavior online is what we are into, where we focus on making sure the tech is beautiful, immersive, data driven, uh, you know, and uh, easy to use. So these are few pillars that we work on uh, the tech part of it. And there are industries that we focus on, but primarily Wasmos is an immersive tech organization with AI at, you know, at the core of it, AI and data, so that it builds uh, itself in an intelligent form. Sure. Yeah, that's sure. How um, the immersive, you know, the uh, impact of tech in different sectors like retail, manufacturing, what is your views on that? It's phenomenal. You know, the thing is, if you see how the tech has been uh, adopted by organizations across different sectors, you know, we've amazed, uh, we've been amazed by the way they have reacted to it, right? We have innovation officers, growth officers focusing on purely adopting of, you know, uh, immersive futuristic tech within the organization. And in these sectors, if you look at retail, right, retail is a more consumer driven sector, right? And when we move on to something called a manufacturing or automobile, it's more industrial driven sector, if, if, if I can divide it that way, right? In both of these, right, the tech usage is, is gone up drastically but in different forms. For example, in retail, uh, you know, we've obviously so used to doing e-commerce and shopping online and all that, right? How do we kind of use the immersive tech to create, uh, you know, experiential uh, commerce rather than just e-commerce? So that's the interesting change that's happening where imagine a world where uh, you are, instead of going to a regular e-commerce site, you go into a brand virtual store rather than having a physical store that you walk in. You walk into a virtual store, you have an avatar, you go in, you try stuff and then you, know, then you decide to buy, right? You talk to a salesperson, you know, who's also virtually present. You shop with your friends around in the virtual world. So it starts, you know, uh, it, it's about uh, with the generation change, which will people wanting to order more and more online. How is retail going to make a difference? Because we spend a lot of time shopping online, right? So, so how do we kind of make that? So retail is going through a change like that. And then you add an AR to it, which is further enhancing your reality part of it that, okay, how does it look on me? Right? So, so that's, that's how retail is evolving. There's a lot of AI that's happening in retail, which is, sure. which is persona driven and all that. In the, in the industrial space, in the manufacturing space and all, you see a lot of we are being used for the training purpose, you know. Uh, so that's where the VR aspect is coming in. There's digital twins of uh, of factories that are being created, which then can help, uh, you know, solve problems remotely than someone going and doing it through VR headsets and IoT and all that. So a lot of tech being adopted in all this sector. Education is another sector where there's a significant amount of tech you will see, you know, getting uh, used as we go on. So I think I think the rural economy, the rural sector of India will, you know, gain a lot from this creating a metaverse, you know, the VR uh, impact because they don't probably have the physical means to go to a store and, you know, bigger brands, bigger stores are not available in uh, uh, the rural sector. So let, let's see. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you look at the global side, the, the tier one will benefit from uh, from getting exposure to the global space. 
sure. right because a lot of brands were still not physically present uh, in in india for them accessing it becomes easier and you know uh, getting stuff and rural definitely if you look at it there's a huge expansion happening in that space and there is money that is being generated in that uh, tier 2 tier 3 towns are not going rural rural but more tier 2 tier 3 towns as such right so for them an exposure like this we are seeing a significant trend change that is coming up in the virtual space and uh, what are the recent trends in virtual technology that you have seen the vr and ar advancements uh, there are organizations that are only doing vr and ar when they're doing ar they're building uh, infrastructure on it so that the content can be created right uh, vr is till few years you know uh, away from being a product which you and me can use it on a regular basis at home i think it is you know the tech has to uh, become better the form factor has to become you know it has to move rather than heavy headsets it just has to become much smaller that is when vr will become impactful and hence vr is more used in the uh industrial space maybe in the marketing space to some extent to showcase how this how the world looks like uh, you know how a, how a product looks like in an immersive space or our space our hotel looks like and so on and so forth the ar is what you will see a lot more adoption happening and uh, i think that in next few months you know you will see a lot more people starting to use ur ar more frequently that that's where it is we are already using using ar in some form right in the so, for example in social media the filters and everything that we are using uh and sharing it is our ar based so we are getting used to ar uh the other users of ar has been you know how does a uh, art piece look it in my drawing room right or does how does tv fit in in my space that is there or or anything right so ar is being used more and more for that and uh, you will see a lot more of ar being picked up uh, by the local consumer or the end consumer and we are continues to be in the industrial manufacturing you know space and for us to use it will take few months or not maybe few years rather so abhish you spoke about the benefits of ar now let's talk about the other side the you know the cost side or the savings side um through tech let's talk a little bit about that I'll, I'll give you one example, which is which we very common to us, right? So in a retail space, in an uh, e-commerce space, uh, if you look at it, right, about twenty-five to thirty percent of goods gets returned. So, so look at that. Twenty-five to thirty percent of orders are being, you know, uh, turned back or given back. The amount of wastage that's happening, the cost increase that's happening because of that, the whole sustainability issue is there, right? through the tech you are able to basically make a more informed decision no one is buying because oh you know what i'll buy it and return it people want to buy it because they want to use it eventually right? but information available is limited you are not able to talk to a sales guy you you don't get enough and right information to say you know this fits in right right hmm. the involvement of tech which is there in the virtual stores that we are talking about you are as a end consumer you will be able to make a more informed decision the moment that starts happening right the what we've seen is there is a 50% reduction in in the returns which are there right people are saying okay what i'm getting is what i was looking for that is what i've got that's there yeah. for the brands you have more loyal customers because you know there is a brand recall which is there brand connect with the customer from a point of view that okay the goods that i've asked for that is what i've got the sizes the material everything i'm able to connect with the sales guy or or the owner the out there in the store virtual store and build a relationship which is there. so for a brand that cost of generating you know spending money on marketing dollars and continuously uh, you know getting new customers that's gone down because your repeat customers has gone up so these are some of the examples in the retail space which is there and the moment we move into the industrial manufacturing space which is there the the cost savings is significant because imagine if you are in a factory and there is something which has gone wrong in your machine how do you kind of solve it someone will fly fly from germany or us and come and you know try solving it because the machines have come from there what vr is doing is you know we are with a combination of uh, iot and the whole solution is called uh, digital twin it is helping people to solve or debug from where they are so that's a big saving which is there and from 
other places people who are here engineers are sitting out here and trying to work for them they don't need to fly out and learn they can just learn from here itself because you know uh, of almost real immersive tech which is available to understand from the best in the world right so overall there is a significant number of cost saving brand building ease of use that is coming in because of tech uh, you know big time some of the innovative projects that wasmos is working on if you want to share i'd love to Uh, have you ever thought that uh, you could buy goods from artisans from banaras from lucknow from gazipur you know sitting uh, at home and directly talking to them and uh, you know looking at their story uh, you know seeing the product and then buying it that's that's something which is a dream project for us where we've done is we've gone to these uh, uh, smaller towns and uh, showed them that this is what what we want to do we want to take the you know culture which has been there for hundreds of years in a way that you know the end consumer whether it is in india or outside can connect understand and buy from there right so we we have about 80 plus stores for artisans going live right the work of chicken curries and meena curries and then you know so much more which for a lot of people they either don't know about it or you know they for them it's just that i would sometime go into some of these places and buy it now instead of middlemen you're buying it directly from the artist so that's a very you know uh, dream interesting project that's that we are doing uh, which is there uh, the other pieces because i i mentioned ayodhya the temple piece of it right uh, uh, while in india is religious right we we all uh, love uh, our religion and how do we connect people who are not able to travel to you know different kind of uh, temples and then you know uh, pay their gratitude so the the way it is is you know what we've done is for a for a brand called vama it's a startup uh, we've started creating virtual temples for them and getting people to you know visit the visit the temples you know uh, worship uh, do live puja all of that uh, in the in the immersive world so i thought that's a beautiful concept connecting everyone uh, you know uh, on a handle device is 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 just phenomenal right so these are these are few things which are there uh, you know uh, the other piece again what we are aiming to do is currently we all consume content on website which is 2D uh the interesting piece that is coming up is can we instead of having a 2D website can we do a 3D website so we all start using you know a uh, 3D in a very easy way where you can walk in uh you know look at the spaces in a certain way and then then consume content right and that for the brand gives so much of data that okay how shruti is gone in what content she's read you know uh how she's interacted with the space and what you've seen is a concept like that uh, if a person is spending you know maybe few minutes on a website through this that time has gone up that okay i am you know i want to spend a little more about you know a little more about this organization because it's done in an interesting form right so these are some of the interesting work that's happening which is you know which we think will become a norm uh in the future Piyush, those were very, uh, you know, insightful thoughts, and uh, I wish you all the best. Uh, it was lovely talking with you. Uh, uh, that was Piyush Gupta, CEO of Wasmos. Thank you for watching us.